An 18-year-old accused of shooting and killing a woman in southeast Portland has now turned himself in. Kamari Gates was in court this afternoon. He pleaded not guilty to several charges. The shooting happened Tuesday near southeast 136th and Knight Streets. Police told people to stay inside their homes while they looked for Gates. He was arrested yesterday. Well, let's bring in Sydney Dorner now live at PBB headquarters downtown. Sydney, you've been talking with the family of the victim, Latoya Hill. What are they telling you? They told me that the suspect was actually a family friend. Latoya Hill's fiance says the alleged shooter, Kamari Gates, actually has a brother who once lived with them. Family members I spoke with today say they are still coming to terms with losing their loved one. I love her so, 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 so much. <laughs> Just three days after losing their loved one, Latoya Hill's family is in deep pain and disbelief, especially her young daughter, Kalicia McGruder. You know, <laughs> and then he just goes up and kills her. I'm never, ever going to see her again. Her fiance, Danielle McGruder, says she was home when Hill was shot in the back of the head right in front of the couple's home off Southeast 136th Avenue in Portland. All of a sudden, I just heard. I didn't know what it was. I turned around. I, I like started rushing towards the front door. I see smoke by my front door. I'm in front of my couch in the window. And this little boy that I know is standing there with the, with the automatic gun and a drum, and he's shooting at me. Danielle says she was in disbelief, saying that boy was Kamari Gates, a former family friend whose brother once lived with the couple. Literally, the thought to my mind was, Kamari's not shooting at me right now. Where's Toy? Oh, my God, he shot Toy, and I just dropped. And I think that if I hadn't dropped, I think if I had, like, tried to fall, like how they tell you to, I think he would have known that I wasn't dead and he could have came in and shot me. My door was wide open. Danielle says once she thought Gates was gone, she rushed to her fiance and called the police. I just applied pressure and I told her to just keep moving her mouth so I know she's here not to leave me, not to leave us and that we love her. And I kissed her. Hill was rushed to OHSU for treatment but died Tuesday afternoon, crushing her mother and father who had just spent time with her enjoying a football game and barbecue days before. Someday I'm angry. You took my daughter away from me for nothing, nothing. And now you, on top of that, you are a murderer and you're going to uh, lose your life too. You're only 18. The family wants Hill to be remembered as loving, free-spirited, and a phenomenal basketball player who loved mentoring kids. And she played basketball and a lot of people got to know her through that. <laughs> and just loved everybody and loved life. It's just a shame that what happened to her. Now, LaToya's family has opened up a GoFundMe to help them get through this tough time, which is linked on our website at KGW.com. To celebrate her life, they are having a going, a going away ceremony next Saturday at Peninsula Park. Back to you. Your heart just goes out to that family. Sydney Dorner reporting live from downtown Portland. Thank you, Sydney.